particularly interested on if you make a request of 23 names and you're clear to get 23 names, but the nominations are 50, what should happen? I know the president maybe has uh, the power to uh, convince uh, parliament on why 50, but what should happen? I think uh, this is uh, clearly an indication of how unresponsive this regime is because, uh, I mean, even, even in their own request of 23, they've just gone up and, uh, and more than doubled it. And in fact, uh, let, let us be honest that uh, even, even, even appointing so many CSs at a point when uh, Kenyans are suffering and Kenyans are complaining, and on a day like this when we are saying we are going out to, the, to demonstrate for the rights of the people, it's shocking. It just shows that they are totally unresponsive. And, and, and I listen to my colleague here when he starts saying that, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is I don't know, uh, better than BBI. I, how, for how long are we going to make BBI the, the scapegoat for everything, you know? And every time something goes wrong, they'll bring the Uhuru's name, they'll bring BBI. These are things that are in the past. We cannot live in the past. Let us move to the future. The future is that uh, now, when I listen to my colleagues say that uh, these people will cost us only 450 million. First and foremost, even the car grants that they will get of 10 million each is already 500 million. I mean, simple mathematics. Now, let's talk about uh, what exactly does the office of a CAS entail. Uh, they'll be given a, a vehicle, a GK vehicle or two, and this, is, this has always been there, even from the past. They'll be given secretaries, they'll be given uh, you know, staff for their offices. They'll get uh, space for offices. They'll require to have security. And they'll also have to be paid salaries. And that office has to run, so there'll be office expenses. I'm looking at a minimum of three million a month, I mean, on the bare minimum. And multiply that by the 50 of them, that's 150 uh, million in a month. By the time you hit uh, a year, that's about 1.8 billion. A plus a car grant. I mean, these people are really, uh, you know, cheating this country. And look, you just put the names and uh, the pictures of the people that got these uh, positions. I remember during the last uh, campaigns, we were being told that uh, this government uh, of Kenya Kwanzaa, if they get opportunity to rule this country, they will be dealing with issues to do with the Mwananchi. You know, the Mamamboga, the Boda Boda. I don't know, unless you say uh, there is a Mamamboga in that list whom I've not seen, or a Boda Boda rider in that list whom I've not seen, I think we've been taken for a ride. And the hustlers now are aware that Kenya Kwanzaa is not concerned about taking care of the issues.